Saturday against the Twins. Five and two thirds of shutout ball. And off we go with 95 pinned to the inside corner. He's in his first year with the Jays after a long time with the Rockies. Yeah, great job. One two pitch. Two balls and two strikes first up. Two two. Up the ladder and fouled off. And a strike out. Two two again. Seventh pitch of the plate appearance and a full count. Yeah. Payoff. Cut on and miss. 95 and a strikeout for Houck. You'll give him the fastball and the slider's great, but you, you don't want him to see all your pitches in the first at bat. You get to see all of his pitches in your first at bat. You get two more at bats against him. It's always good to see what he has, and, and that's the goal in your first at bat. I learned that my first year. That's got two hits. There you go. That works. Late on 95. Let's see. One, two. It is a fastball. Trying to go glove side with it at 96. Go in that second. Two, two. Cut on and missed. And there it is, Uke. A fastball again, and it ties up Bichette. Yeah, great job. Trips to the plate last night. He walked three times. He struck out the two others. Over a thousand. Still four digits. Good fastball early on from Tanner. Shown the slider. 1 1. Stuck with a fastball and gets ahead 1 and 2. His 1 2. Went to a slider there. Firm at 8 out of the gates. 1 2. In the air, right side. And Shaw puts it away on a 1 2 3 first for Howe. Collins solo home run Tuesday in the opener. That was the only offense in that one for Toronto. 2 1. Now it's going by Christian. Would you grab it? Oh, 100%. 1 1 pitch. Foul back. Still waiting for one of the unseen parts of a ball club. Those behind the scenes. Oh, nasty slider from Tanner Houck, and it's his third K already. Love it. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Cuts through 95, and so it was nine swings again. A one. In the air to center. Bradley is back with room. Two down. He's a guy who caught Alex Cora's attention a few years ago, of course, already when Chapman was an established star. The way Matt Chapman goes about his business is very impressive. A lot of mutual respect. 2 0 pitch. Inside edge. And try to drive. 2 1. Another slider. Two balls and two strikes on Chapman. Hawks 2 2. Full count. I love that pit. Tanner's 3 2. Lashed foul. Look Ooh. out in the Jays' dugout. Another 3 2. Hit on a line to left, and Verdugo can't get there. Caram's off the wall. And Chapman's got a two out double here in the second. The top spin or the pull spin, you want to get it true going straight or taking that into the left center field gap a little bit more. First couple of innings against Houck. He saw Verdugo frustrated with himself. And all the Two outs in the second. And Houck's 1-1. This is the back door. Too many seeds. Yeah. 2-1. Fouled off. Another splitter. I'm really worried about him. Might have to call down. It's a lot of sodium. Yeah, the trick is what you do. Tanner's 2-2. Two, two. 
upstairs and a full count on Kevin Biggio. Hauk trying to get out of this. 3-2. On the ground into the shift at Story. Getting over. Three strikeouts through. Tanner Hauk back to work here in the third against Ghost K. Kato making his first big league for COVID-19 shortly before today's game. And so that you see is bench coach Will Venable manage Alex and hopefully he's feeling all right. Yeah. My boy Will Venable, now the manager. And you. Two balls and a strike. This is rolled foul by Coteau. One thing we talk, you know, do a lot of great things down the road. Full count. And Alex Cora had mentioned this in the previous few. 3 2. Outside, and Coteau gets aboard in his first big league plate appearance with no George Springer. He's day to day. X rays were negative after he got hit by a pitch on the right arm. Zimmer did not offer, according to ancients of how they go about it. Zimmer in the air toward left. Verdugo sizes it up for the first down. Simel Tapia struck out on a good Hauk fastball in the first and hits this one right back up the middle into center. Turns around a fastball, and there's two on for Toronto. Short stops are moving their glove, getting scared. <laughs> That's my favorite. Bo Bichette slices one foul. Yeah, that was 108 off the bat of Tapia. Yeah, it was from Tanner Houck. Foul back. Pump and fastballs, like you said, against Bichette. Still. 0 2. On the ground, right side, and Story dives, but off his glove into right. Coteau scores from second, and the Blue Jays strike first. To limit the damage to one, with runners at the corners. You can make a little chaotic things happen. A spot for most righties, but... Guerrero. In the air, left center. And Verdugo under it for out number two as Tapia tags and scores on a high fly ball. Catcher today for the Blue Jays as Bichette takes off. Vasquez's throw goes into center. No, 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 no. They're everywhere. Yeah. You be careful. Eh. I'm not but worried. They're actually in the bases. Rated. 1 1 pitch. And Get Collins it. hits it on a line into center right at Jackie. And the inning is over, but the Blue Jays strike for two in the third off how as we start the fourth. 5 6 and 7 for Toronto against Tanner Houck. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. lost this to shallow center. Bradley there, one away. Straightens them and then would put on a grease that allows him to kind of shape it however he wants. Matt Chapman, the batter, fouls hey. it off himself. Nothing in two. So, guys, I'll switch it up. Uh, <laughs> let's kick the can down the room. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to see that. Yanked on the ground to third, and Bobby Dahlbeck starting over there with a low throw. Yes! And yes! Pick by Show. When you go to throw that from that sidearm position, you got to follow through a little bit. So he had it right doing the 360, but when you have in terms of what your normal throws are going back over there, it's really hard. And it's difficult because you don't have time to practice it. Like, you, you things you got to work on as the season goes on. 1-1 one, one to Kevin Biggio. Ball in two strikes with two outs here. Tanner's ready with a 1-2. Strike three cold. 94 at the top of the zone and a K to punt. Worse, far worse than throwing it in the dugout. Here's Ghost K. Coteau to lead off the fifth against Tanner Houck. 
He's in the mid 60s with his pitch count. It'll be interesting to see how far how goes as he gets Cato to bounce wow. it to Story. What a way. That was super interesting. Well, he's out number one, and here's Bradley Zimmer going first pitch swinging. And Story backhands and retires Zimmer. Two gone. So no. I'm down at the bottom on that list. Well, it's not time sensitive, if you want to think on it. Yeah, I think, you know, th there was some really, really. Rymel Tapia, the batter. We had two outs here on a case. He's up there. Tremendous athlete. Slap to third, and Dahlbeck fires a strike, and it's a seven pitch. One, two, three. <laughs>